Hey Cancers, it's Sunny, and I'm here with your um, June 2017 reading. Please forgive me for this being out um, during the mid-month, but yeah, my life's crazy. But happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthday um, towards the end of this month. Let's see what's going on for Cancers. I'm hearing catch catch the wave. Are you willing to catch the wave? Are you ready to catch the wave? Um, you guys. Okay, I find this really interesting. I, I believe I said this for you guys before or I said this in another video. Where um, the moon. You guys are known as the moon child. And the moon. And the moon. I don't know about the moon. And the moon has control over tidal waves. So, I feel like you guys are going to come to realization that you have control over your emotions and that you can make a situation better or worse, depending if you want to react to it or not, or how you do it, whatever the case may be. Um, or you may be dealing with someone who kind of mirrors your emotional self and maybe you're starting to see you know all right maybe you're starting to see how emotional or very sensitive you are to particular things um i'm also getting this energy where some in regards to relationships some issues are going to come back up again like the same arguments are going to come back up again um if you are an older cancer and you have children maybe you're noticing you know your children going through um similar patterns as you or maybe you just want to be generous to people um but you know tides or emotions um isn't always a bad thing maybe you just want to shower people with your generous emotions and show them you know that you are willing to protect them and love them. I'm getting this strong energy of blue. Um, so yeah, I this month is going to be emotional depending upon how you make it or not. Um, maybe you give someone um, something blue or someone gives you something blue. Or you're just going to be strongly attracted to the color blue this month. Let's see. Let me get cut. Just going to go for cancers. June so we have Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Tower. Really interesting. Many of y'all are going to put your foot down, or you want to put your foot down in a particular situation, but I just feel like whatever it is that you made your mind up about you really didn't make your mind up about it if that makes sense it's like you can say all day long i'm over this person or i'm over this job fuck this job but you still go back to it you you still continue to do the same thing over and over again and i just feel like you know it's at a point where you guys are tired of dealing with you know this baggage or dealing with um this particular thing that isn't really bringing that much happiness into your life but there's a sense of you needing to tolerate it there's a sense of you, you like just needing to deal with it or maybe you just grown custom to it being there and you just don't know how to get out of this situation so i feel like you do have a chance to find your way out of this kind of toxic situation um but you're really going to have to listen to what your inner voice is telling you. I am picking up where, like the connections that you have with people and the way that you see things this month are really different. You just want to clear your head. I also feel... Um, that some of you may have issues in regards to your skin, um, maybe dry skin, wrinkly skin, um, there's, you're getting bumps on your skin, 
or someone around you may have these issues themselves i'm also getting like you know like when you get old like those little moles like appear um i think they're called tag moles i, I don't know but that's what i'm picking up too maybe warts during this time as well um and i do see some of you having surgery or this cutting of the skin maybe like you accidentally cut your finger you accidentally cut your arm um or someone around you has this problem as well but back to um you guys needing to listen to your inner voice because you're looking at things differently now and you just want a more crisp atmosphere is what i'm picking up like you you just want things to be clean you're tired of things being dirty or you're just some of you are definitely tired of bills i feel something yeah something is definitely piling up maybe in regards to repairs maybe some of you um like um electronics are getting messed up i keep picking up on towel towel like um maybe redecorating your home but it's it's like a pretty penny it's costing a lot of money a lot of money or maybe these court fines these bills are costing a lot of money some of y'all just want a new job you you want a new job or you want to be happy just honestly overall but i'm seeing that if you do want a new job if you were to go out and get a new job this month i mean it is what it is you can do what you want um but I do see where there's a sense of you needing to be patient because you may regret your decision of getting a new job to be honest especially if you have earth sign with your chart Capricorn Taurus Virgo because I'm seeing where there's a sense of you being hasty about it like you you aren't really thinking you know about the outcome and if you know I, I just feel like you guys just want change and you're willing to you know do whatever you have to do in regards to making that change yes some of y'all really really stubborn i do see where some of y'all may have problems um with very dominant people in your life especially if they're bossy <laughs> and they have maybe fire sign within their chart aries leo sagittarius or uh, you have a hard time with like managers you know maybe police officers um this people of authority some of you guys, um, you may find that you're more daydreamy this month as well. It's like you're thinking about, you know, your, your perfect home or just happiness. And you just want to start it. You, you want whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're wishing for, you just want it right now. But I'm seeing where some of y'all are just stuck in daydream land. And you, you have to think about reality. Okay, we can picture ourselves in a mansion all day long, but picturing it isn't going to put us in that mansion. Okay, you have to do what you have to do to step closer to your dreams. I do see where it seems like some of y'all are waiting on a lump sum of money, or you're just waiting to have money. I, I just feel like, but you guys need to deal like you need to get your debts out the way, you need to pay them off instead of avoiding them. There's a sense of avoid. There's a sense of you guys avoiding responsibilities at the same time. Um, I'm also saying home life may not be the best as well. Maybe, you know, you're tired of your girlfriend or your boyfriend, wife, husband, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're tired of the kids. Um, like you love them. Don't get me wrong. You love them. But it's just like family life or home life is very chaotic during this time and maybe you aren't happy with you know the location that you're living maybe maybe like stress like work is stressing you out and it's just like you're taking that energy home with you um i do see where family life can get better but i'm getting strong vibe for more of november um for the time being family life may be you know very stressful and just kind of one minute you're happy one minute you're kind of depressed about it um i'm not gonna lie to you and i don't mean any harm i i am sensing a a death for some an older male interesting an older male this may be a father grandfather 
whether he's already deceased or this will happen in the near future um if he's already deceased he may be trying to connect with you or you're thinking more of him during this time um or maybe if you had a strained relationship with your father or with your grandfather or cousin uncle whatever the case would be this person may be coming back into your life they may be contacting you more um wanting to see you more whatever the case may be and it's it's you're, you're trying to connect with him but at the same time it's just like you still don't trust him he's still a shadow to you like he's he's still some you still you don't feel right about him it's still a mystery like you don't know if this is permanent you don't know if you know he's genuine about it it's like you're down to communicate with him but at the same time it's just like you don't really know what to do but i'm picking up that this person is willing to offer um generosity but something is wrong with him he may be sick um or maybe he's just realizing how much he wasn't there for you and now he's trying to create that home that never was if that makes sense um but honestly all in all there are some things that you guys need to change in order for you to get the changes that you want some of y'all are just kind of stuck you know where you are you're just like why why do i feel stuck why do i feel stuck some of y'all definitely need to move on okay there will be some um changes that are out of control for you guys within this month but i'm seeing that it's going to work in your favor it may be a bit rocky or it may be kind of unexpected or like you guys may not know how to handle it but i'm seeing that like in all in all it means well it means well to be honest and maybe you're seeing changes within your children but many of y'all are going to have to let the past go whether it's past people um past actions past bad bad habits excuse me past arguments whatever the case may be you're going to have to let that go because it is weighing a lot it's like really really weighing heavily on you guys and it's like you're getting older you know you you must understand the wisdom that you've been gaining while you've been going through like these past situations you know you you can't go back anymore you can't go back especially if you want new, new things you want new changes within your life um you guys have more strength and control than you think i do see um where some of y'all may even have dreams of like maybe churches um religion monks maybe even buddha maybe even G christ you know god whatever the case may be um yeah some of y'all may even notice little white angels uh rather you're seeing them or you're catching them on camera maybe even orbs as well but i i feel like there's positive energy around you guys but you know at the same time some of y'all need to get over this i'm hurt i'm wounded pity pity me mindset because some of y'all kind of have that or you may be dealing with somebody who has that and it's too damn much and you're tired of dealing with them i'm also seeing back problems for some of you so be easy when you are lifting things during this time as well hope you guys enjoyed the reading good luck with everything and i'll show you back before july bye